back off. Staten with the ball. He's going to set it up one more time. You know, Dayton did again another offensive rebound. And uh, the last time, Chris Johnson is forcing that shot just a little bit. You got to work the ball, find the creases in the zone, and make that defense move. Williams to Staten. Staten nice. down low. Nice pass. Searcy with the right hand jam coming in from the left side. And Dayton now leads it 13 to 9 with 7.14 to go in the first half. Into right, right in the lane, scoops it up. Off the glass from the left side. Chris Wright gives Dayton a 26-19 advantage just over a minute. Boy, I tell you, Kavanaugh is doing a great job of boxing out down below or posting up. And Here's Williams in the lane, puts it up, rims it around, drops it through. Dayton with their largest lead, now nine points, 28-19, half a minute to go first half. On the pass, have a trouble controlling it. Galladay and Dayton picks it away. Here comes Williams, taking it in from the left side. Easy layup, and Dayton's lead out to 31-19. Julian Norfleet brings it back down to a nine-point lead, 37-28 with 13-13 left. Quickly the other way, oh. slamming the ball home with the right hand, coming right down the lane is Chris Wright. Well, I tell you what, this man is is a man among boys when he when he's driving the basketball to the rim. 439. Flyers look inside. Devin Searcy. Searcy trying to back in. Puts the ball up and in. Put it up over Danny Thompson. And Dayton leads it by 17 again. 56 to 39. Time has expired, and Dayton takes the opening game of the 2010-2011 basketball season over Mount St. Mary's by a tally of 67 to 52.